Do you want to make your dreams of owning your own business a reality? Becoming an entrepreneur is a great way to bring your individualized product or service to the market and be your own boss. In 2013, each month, 400 of every 100,000 adults in California started a new business. This rate of small business creation made California the fourth highest state for entrepreneurial activity in 2013. Hi, I'm Courtney Nichols Gould, and I am the co founder and co CEO of Smarty Pants Vitamins. I think the thing that I love most about, about what I do um, as an entrepreneur is really the unpredictability. I mean, what is great about having your own business is that every day is different. There really is not a set script. A lot of times you're solving problems that someone else hasn't solved. So it's up to you to kind of figure that out along with your team. So that's what I like best about it really is just um, every day is different. In 2013, there were over 1.3 million registered small business enterprises in California. The largest industry sector for small business establishments is healthcare and social services, with over 484,000 small businesses. However, the retail industry sector counts the most small business workers in California, and in 2013 employed over 1.5 million. I think it would make a lot of sense for an entrepreneur to go back to community college and look for some specific courses where maybe they think, they think they've got some weakness. So I'd say the first step is really talk to someone else and try to identify where your weaknesses are. So maybe you, you have very strong math background, but you're weaker in this specific area. And that's one of the great things about community college that you can go pick a specific course and take that one course. I just finished a drawing class. And I did that at a community college over a 12 week period at night because I needed to get out of my thinking rut and really wanted some more creativity. So even though it doesn't look like it has anything to do with gummy vitamins, I took a drawing class that helped me think kind of outside of the box. So I think it's a great thing to go uh, back to community college and find a specific course. You just wanna make sure you've identified kind of where your weaknesses are before you do that. Three pieces of advice. I, I think the first thing would be Make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. You know, I think in, now we talk a lot in our culture about being an entrepreneur and it sounds like such a fun and exciting thing, um, but it's sort of like the difference between owning a house and renting a house. When you rent a house and the sink breaks, the plumbing doesn't work, you call someone and they come fix it and someone else pays for it. When you own the house and the plumbing breaks, you have to fix it. And uh, if you call someone, you're paying the bill. So. It is something you just want to go into with a, with a real awareness of the kind of responsibility that comes with, because it's not, it's not small. Um, the second thing is, I would say, to find a really good partner, whether that's someone who's going to work with you on the day-to-day -day idea, or even just an advisor, a mentor, someone that you trust, because doing it by yourself is really hard, even just to get perspective on problems you come up against. Is it a big problem or a small problem? Um, should I spend this money? Could I save it a different way? I just think it's incredibly difficult to do alone. So I think having someone with you is another key part of being an entrepreneur, especially starting out. And the, the third part is to have a sense of humor because things go wrong. I don't care how successful you are. I don't care how good you are, how smart you are, how much money you have, how much money you don't have, things will go wrong. And really the only way to survive, you know, intact is by having a sense of humor. You just got to be able to laugh. According to the state of California's Employment Development Department, establishments with less than five employees dominate the small business landscape in California. There were nearly 941,000 small businesses with zero to four people in California in 2013. Small businesses with 100 or more employees only numbered 20,000 in the same year. I think the first is a real problem that you're solving. So in other words, sometimes people start from a place of, oh, I just, uh, I wanna create a business. I wanna be an entrepreneur and they try to find something. I think most of the successful businesses come from a problem you've identified in your own life. Oh, I wish I had this, I wish, and you can't find it. And so you try to make it yourself. So I think solving a real problem is critical. I think having another person uh, involved in the business with you. So have, not doing it just all on your own. So you've got someone else to bounce ideas off of, uh, someone to give you guidance uh, as you start the process. So the third element I think is stress management. 
It is a very intense environment. Um, starting a business can come with a lot of stresses. You've got a lot of decisions that you have to make and no one's going to make them for you. Um, so I think it's important to just, whether it's doing yoga, going for a walk every day, it's really important to actually integrate from the first day ways to manage stress. Uh, I think a fourth, fourth key skill is flexibility. So one of, the, one of the most common issues with startups is that where you are today is not where you'll be even 30 days from now. You're learning so much and you're getting so much feedback in the beginning that you might need to shift either who you're talking to, who your ideal customer is, or something about your product. So I do think it's really important to be flexible. You want to hold the vision, hold the core, but remain flexible and open to all the feedback you're going to be getting uh, from other people so that you can integrate that into, into where the business goes. And I think the fifth thing uh, is really the ability to identify, attract, uh, and retain talent. So that means finding great people around you, friends, mentors, who really want to invest in the business with you and who share your vision, who are as excited about it as you are, who will be with you as you go through the really critical first stages and just coming up with an idea and trying to figure out if it's possible or not. For more information about earning potential for careers in California, please visit salarysurfer.cccco.edu. For more information about careers in California, please visit path2careers.net and cacareercafe.com. To find a community college near you, visit cccapply.org and learn more about how you can take the first steps to a fulfilling career today.